Yo, what is up? This is Drino Beats, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to deconstruct Meek Mill's Dream Chasers 2 intro in FL Studio. And for those who are new to the channel, here's how I graded myself, um, just so you know what to expect going into this deconstructed. Uh, I think we got pretty close. I also just wanna say, we're ensuring that this beat is accurate in the following three ways. One, this beat was made by a producer named The Beat Bully. So I even bought his drum kit, and the actual sample is in the kit itself. And of course we're using his drums. So number two, the Beat Bully's real name is Anthony Tucker. I went to his old YouTube channel and you can find the original instrumental, like he uploaded it to YouTube eight years ago. Lastly, we are trying to only use plugins that were used around 2012 or before. So in the beginning of the beat, there's a speech. And for those who are curious, it's a post boxing match interview with Mike Tyson. Uh, you can YouTube it if you'd like. It's called I'm the best ever and it's pretty epic. Best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless. But on to the beat. Maybach music. To start, we have the Maybach music tag. Maybach music. And then we have two other things playing. We have synth brass hits and then we have a choir. So for the choir, again, trying to stay true to that accuracy, we are using a sound font, which was definitely around in 2012, called Florissant Awe Choir, and here are the notes for that. So we also have some synthetic brass hits. We're using a sound font called Brass Large Shots. We are also using a Silent One Preset BS Fatso, Nexus Synthetic Brass Native Synth Brass, Synthetic Brass Analog Brass, Synthetic Brass Overstacked. And here are the notes. And as far as effects go, we are just using a bit of distortion in Fruity Fast Distort, boosting some of the frequencies, cutting some of the frequencies, using Wave Shaper just to give it more of a grungy feel, and then adding some reverb. So these hits will play throughout the beat, but basically we just took this pattern and just chopped it up into four separate pieces for the beginning. Okay, in this next section, we obviously have the 808 coming in. We have a choir or a higher pitched choir coming in, as well as a chant. For the chant, we're just using a classic Lex chant, and here's the pattern. For the 808, so like I mentioned before, we bought his drum kit, so we're using one out of his kit called the Knockin' 808, which I think sounds pretty similar. And for effects, we are just throwing on some Camel Crusher, which was around in 2012 with the British Clean setting. So here are the notes for that. So for the choir, it looks like a lot going on, but mostly it's just layering. So first we have the Redtron plugin with the M400 preset. So next we have another free plugin, which is called DSK Choirs. I'm pretty sure this was around in 2012 with the Oz Slow Choir uh, two presets together. We have two Floriston Ah Choirs going on, KBH Real and Swell Choir, which was again available back in the day. And then we have another sound font called Choir Ah, and here are the notes for those. And then lastly, we have these two other florist and choir sound fonts coming in as well. And so all together. Okay, so this repeats itself, but then at the very end, transitioning into the next pattern, there's a gross beat effect that comes in. And the one that hits is this one. So all this is is the classic new effect, except this one brings it back to life at the end. So here's what that sounds like. For this next section, we have a kick, a clap, a snare, as well as brass coming in. So for the kick, we're using one from his drum kit called Kick 7. Here's the pattern for that. For the clap, we're just using another clap from his kick called Bully Club Clap 2. Standard pattern, no effects to it. For the snare, we are using the Lex Snare 1. So here's the pattern for that. Lastly, for this section, we have Nexus uh, Brass playing. It's kind of subtle, but here are the notes and here's what that sounds like.
This is the Nexus Classic Hollywood Brass preset. And as far as effects, just boosting some of the frequencies and taking some of the lowers out. And there's one more gross beat effect. It's the same vinyl cut. So here's the preset in a gross beat, just basic pattern 10 and it's slightly less intense, but here's what that sounds like. All right, so in this section, we take a break. It's just the beginning choir intro coming in. In this section, everything stays relatively the same. The clap, the snare, and the kick are gone. And in this section is where the snare roll comes in. Here's the pattern for that. And there's a weird chop of the 808 right here. I don't know why they left it in, but all together, here's what that transition sounds like. It's kind of a cool transition though, man. I like it. So in this section, the brass, the clap, the snare, and the kick come back in. And at the very end, this is the last instrument in the entire beat. So you have uh, an old school sound font, which is Pro Kits Gutta Brass. And for effects, just boosted some of the higher frequencies and added just a tiny bit of reverb to it. And we have one last sound effect coming in here. It's just a 357 Magnum being cocked and shot right at the very end of this bar. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and a subscription. Uh, really trying to grow the channel and would really appreciate it. Um, the FLP as well as a link to the full remake instrumental will be in the description. And I will catch you guys in the next video.